Hello, everyone, and welcome to CSM for Intune webinar. My name is Juha Habsari, and today I will be showing you how CSM for Intune service can help you with third party application patching using, of course, Intune service. This webinar is arranged together with uh, Angel Garcia, our friend partner, who helps us to promote CSM and also this webinar. Today's webinar will take about 30 minutes and we have reserved some time at the end of the webinar to go through your questions that come out uh, throughout the webinar. So feel, uh, feel free to ask questions all the time during the webinar in the chat and the, in the questions area. And uh, we, I have also my colleague already answering some of, the, uh, some of the questions during the webinar, but at the end of the webinar, we will go some at questions at least together at the end. Okay, so we sent out a short survey about uh, uh, CSM and uh, uh, Intune and SCCM environment usage in your organizations. And uh, uh, more, uh, most uh, respondents use more than one management system to manage endpoints in organizations. And interesting is that uh, only 20% uh, of respondents' organizations are using third party tools uh, for helping the third party uh, application um, patching. And also, it's a really strong prefer to uh, prefer security before usability of the applications. So the security is really, really important uh, for our customers and your organizations. So even though that there might some be glitches with application, new application versions, the security is, is more important. But of course, it's a good question. Do we need to compromise? Uh, the uh, uh, usability of the application of the security because, of course, we can also have the both at the same time. And 60% of the respondents use company portal in Intune uh, to uh, make applications available for end users. And good news for uh, these customers is that we have also uh, a future called uh, application groups in CSM for Intune that will help you to update and patch also those applications that users are installing by themselves from the company portal applications. A short background about what CSM is today. So currently we have more than 250,000 uh, endpoints connected to CSM services. Uh, those are servers and workstations. And more than 500 updates are released yearly, and all these updates are uh, tested and enterprise ready applications. And more than 100 different organizations is already using the CSM service to do third party application patching. Enterprise readiness is one of the key issues and key features of the CSM uh, products. So we want to make sure that you are safe and you are easy to deploy third party applications to your organization in environment. And therefore, we do some comprehensive testing for the applications and also make sure that they are suitable for organization use. CSM is a product family and we have uh, several applications available or products available uh, in this um, product line. So we have on-premises integrations available. So we have integrations for Microsoft uh, SCCM environment and also WSUS environment. And then we have integration to Intune that is a cloud-based solution. And if a customer does not have any management system yet available, we have also these uh, full cloud versions available that customers are immediately able to start to use without anything uh, any other management system currently used. But today's agenda is about uh, CSM for Intune and shortly we will show you also CSM for SCCM environment and the integration. And in the background of all of our CSM services is the service and the actions that we perform for you uh, in the background. And this includes, of course, monitoring the new application versions when the publishers release new versions. And then we do uh, the background processes that include, uh, of course, the packaging work. So we are making the applications uh, enterprise ready 
And we also do comprehensive testing, technical testing for updating and removing and so on. And also we are doing testing uh, with uh, these supported deployment environments. And after that, we will ma uh, uh, make the applications available for our customers. So the customers kind of a responsibility in this is to create the deployment process. How do you want to deploy applications in your environment? And we do the rest of the work in the background and the integrations automate then the deployments for you based on the deployment processes. And if you do this by manually, so meaning monitoring the new application versions and then packaging all the new versions and then testing the versions before deploying those to your environment, that takes of course a long time because these at least these third party applications, a small application, they are quite often updated. So you need to repeat the same tasks uh, multiple times. So this is the task that we are taking away from you and we are doing that for you. So you are able to deploy the applications to your organization automatically. So next, let's go for some demonstration about the services and let's start for a CSM for Intune service. So CSM for Intune, because it's a cloud based uh, solution from Microsoft, uh, also the CSM for uh, Intune is cloud based and you are managing the service from our management portal. And when you start to use the CSM for Intune, of course, you need to do some uh, pre tasks like selecting the applications uh, that you want to include into your service, uh, giving permissions to our back end services to also import and maintain your uh, Intune applications. But after that, uh, you are able to start to create the deployment processes. But for applications that you are able to select into the uh, service, you are able to select the applications uh, from our management portal. And these applications will be included in, in your service and then you are able to start to create the actual deployment processes for the applications. So let's see, we are loading still. OK, now we are seeing the applications, so we are able to see what kind of applications you are able to select immediately from our management portal. And in addition to these uh, uh, public applications, we can include any application for you into the CSM service. So uh, whether the application is a business application or you just want to customize, for example, some browsers to include your uh, home page settings, we are able to create customized applications for you and then you are able to distribute the custom application and the business application the same way uh, into your organization using the CSM services. And all of these applications you are able to use in every CSM version, whether it's an integration to SCCM or whether it's an integration to the Intune, same applications can be used. Okay, when you have selected applications, make the correct configuration that we are able to communicate with your Intune. The main idea is to create the deployment processes. So how do you want to deploy the actual applications in your environment? And these deployment processes defines how the applications will be installed in your uh, tenants. And you are able to include also multiple tenants uh, into your uh, deployment processes. So one deployment process can deploy application to several uh, tenants if uh, that is required and you have several tenants available. So here you are able to see some deployment processes and when I select this browser's deployment process, uh, I'm able to select any number of applications that I want to include into the deployment process. And then I want to make sure that uh, and create the deployment process itself. So kind of making the list, how do you want to deploy the application? And each of these deployment process can have any number of deployment steps. And using these deployment steps, you are able to uh, create your uh, hierarchy here and create your testing environment. So you are able to see that we have this application deployed to our tenant. It's targeted to different uh, groups here and it's uh, going on with the installations as mentioned here in this simulated published time. So 
making sure that first we do technical pilot in our environment, then a little bit uh, a larger pilot and testing, and then we are making the application available for everyone. And in this final phase, we are making sure that the application will be installed to all our production devices. And each of these deployment step, you are able to create configuration. Uh, how is the application uh, installed to the devices? Is it a required installation or is it an available type of installation? Also specify restart configuration. And the most important thing about the deployment process in the steps is the scheduling part. So in, for example, in this case, the application will be available as soon as possible. And uh, because this is a required application, it will start the download of the installation media Im immediately. And then the is installation deadline uh, is specified so that we want to wait uh, three days before we force the installation on the client. So we are able to make sure that uh, we have enough time to get response from the testing phase and then moving on with the deployment process. So this is the customer's task to create the deployment processes here. And then whenever the new version is coming from the applications selected into the deployment process, every time the deployments will be created automatically for you in your uh, Intune tenant, and it will be created with the configuration that you have specified in the deployments. And if you go to the Intune tenant, you are able to see that this is the application that was created by CSM for Intune app uh, service. And it's a normal Intune application, but when you go to the properties, you are able to see that it was created by CSM for Intune, included the icons and also all the commands for you automatically to install and, and remove the application and all also created the application assignments as specified in the deployment process. So automating the tasks that you don't need to do anything about the Intune, you just select applications and uh, then create the deployment processes and everything else is automated for you. And as mentioned in the beginning, many organization is using this company portal application to make applications available for users. And uh, that has been a, a little bit problematic because uh, if uh, users install the applications, uh, then Intune is not able to automatically patch those applications. But in CSM service, CSM for Intune service, we have this application groups availability or future available where you are able to create uh, uh, Intune groups. And then the service from us is making sure that when you uh, link desired application to your Azure AD group, it will make sure that every time when user install this application, uh, the device will be added uh, to the specified Azure AD group. And of course, this Azure AD group can be used anywhere, including the deployment processes uh, from CSM for Intune. So that way you are able to force the new versions to be installed to the devices where user have started the installation first time from the company portal application. So shortly, this is how CSM4 Intune service works for you. So next, let's go briefly and see how about SCCM integration works because the future and the many customers are currently using SCCM, but they are starting to use Intune also for Windows uh, workstation management and application deployment. So in CSM service family, we have integrations available for both environments. So in very similar way works the CSM for SCCM, but in this case you will install the integration client somewhere on your on-premises environment. But exactly the same way, we are able to see the application that we have selected into the service and automatically the installation media is downloaded to your servers. And then for the applications that we have created, the deployment processes, we will do also automatically all the required things in the SCCM environment. So creating the application, creating the uh, application installation media there, and also creating the deployments. And very similar way you build up the deployment processes in SCCM integration. So in this case, you just select the collections where you want to target the installations 
and then you will also create the scheduling settings. How much time do you want to wait before the application is uh, available for uh, selected collection and when we are going to force the installation for selected collection. And here also you are able to create uh, available type of uh, deployments and then you are also able to create uh, forced installations. So here in all users we have available type of, uh, of uh, deployment. So application will be available for everyone from the software center and also if we are using task sequences in our SCCM, we are also able to modify the task sequences when the deployment process, for example, in this case, gets to the production phase. So in this case, uh, the uh, CSM integration will automatically change the latest version of this Firefox to your task sequences. So from that point on, uh, forward on, the latest version of the Firefox, uh, Firefox will be installed uh, whenever new devices will be installed from SCCM. So similar integration for both SCCM environment and Intune in environment. And when you are, for example, migrating or moving your loads uh, from on-premises environments to the Intune service, we are able to provide support for your both environment and also cooperation mode is fully supported, so you are able to use both of these services and uh, patch uh, these third party applications, whether the management is done from uh, SCCM or uh, CSM for Intune. OK, so this was a short introduction for CSM for uh, Intune and CSM for SCCM and feel free to start a trial for both of these services if you want or just uh, Intune services desired or of course you are able to always contact us so we are able to arrange a more detailed webinar or a, a remote session to go through these services with you or you are able to also ask a, a quote for us for starting to use immediately the services. So feel free to start the trials or contact us so we are able to help you to help you to patch your third party applications. OK, so now we have some time to go through some of your questions uh, about CSM for Intune and the SCCM versions and the integrations. So one of the question uh, was that uh, uh, that came earlier about the cooperation mode and uh, of course it's supported so you are able to use uh, SCCM environment as a standalone environment and then Intune as a standalone environment but if you want to use the cooperation mode of course we are supporting also that so you are able to distribute the application and do the third party patching using either of the services SCCM or Intune. OK, there's a question. Does the client license cover both SCCM and Intune integrations? And yeah, uh, you are able to use both of these services. There is a service fee for using uh, one integration, but mostly you are able to use the same applications uh, and you are able to, uh, to uh, distribute the same application, uh, whether you are using SCCM or Intune integrations. OK, and there was one question already answered on the chat, but let's go through this question also online. So the question was that application, the application that is not available in the public catalog, uh, does it require to be packaged first? And yes, it does. So basically that is the tasks that we are doing for you. So making sure that the application can be installed silently. So we are able to install that with our all of our integrations, including the Intune integration. And of course, we are doing the testing that we are able to install, uninstall the application and so on. So making sure that it will work with the integrations that we will provide. And therefore, some of the application might require a lot of packaging words. Some of the application might be just creating their desired configuration and making the testing and making sure that the deployment can be done uh, with these uh, supported deployment systems.
And then there was a question about the packaging side. So we are using uh, Admin Studio uh, for packaging. So that is the software that we are using to create the packages for you. So then there was a question about uh, applications. Is there any applications uh, which CSM cannot install or control? I, I cannot 100% say that everything can be done, but uh, in the uh, current uh, CSM uh, environment, we haven't encouraged any application that we couldn't support with CSM. So all of the application uh, so far we have done so that uh, it will be supported by CSM and we will be able to distribute the applications uh, with CSM. Uh, integrations, whether it's SCCM or Intune. I would really like to thank you uh, to join uh, our webinar about CSM and the CSM for Intune service, as we really uh, think that the Intune and the cloud-based management systems, they are the future that uh, we are going uh, forward on. So it's really good to know that uh, for CSM, we are able to support your current uh, SCCM and also your future with Intune and you are able to use both of these services. So thank you very much for joining and we will be here a couple of more minutes uh, to answer additional questions that come up.